All right, here is Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. I'm going to play the whole thing for you first. Okay, so that's the whole song. Um, the first page has a lot of similarities with each other. The first line and third line are exactly the same. Uh, the second line and fourth line are just a little bit different. And then if you go to measure 25, you'll see that that repeats the very first line. Um, so let's take a look at it. I'm going to play a little bit of for you at a time and then you can echo me back just like we did at the lesson. So um, make sure you have both hands in the position that they recommended. Okay, with your... I don't keep my thumb on the piano when I play this though. I know my thumb will play, you know, middle C. Good. Line two, starting at measure five. Good. Measure nine. Good, measure 13. Now you notice they have a circle around the one. So that just means you're changing out of the position. Good, now notice I, sometimes I ended up doing legato uh, when I didn't mean to, but um, every time you see a slur mark, it's gonna be legato. and. Let's look at the very first time that happens at the Christmas party hop. So I'm going to roll away from the note, so step into the thumb, roll, and land flat. So the rolling is just this motion, okay? But I want to roll and land flat, meaning my palm is flat facing the piano. It's not leaning, okay? Feels like I just clapped my hand down. So that's kind of how that goes. And then the second legato and the second line, you're going to go one, two, you're going to roll there, then you're going to roll, and then choose that note. Feel like your thumb is choosing the note. So if you roll, flat. it like that. Third line is exactly the same. And then the fourth line. This is a flat note, so you want to just end flat and then, okay? If this doesn't make sense, we'll, we'll explore it more at your lesson. Okay, measure 17. This is easy legato because you're just going back and forth with your arm like this. So you're going to give that a try. And I'll play the whole line for you. Give that a try. And then I'm 
measure 21. That's a staccato. Try that. Good. Let's go from there again. Now the legato there on deck the hall, so that's a staccato there in the word deck, and then you're going to roll step, or roll flat, flat, roll, flat, roll, flat. Good. And then the third line is the same as the first. Let's go to the last line at measure 29. Everyone dancing. Sorry, that's going to be finger three. And you, now you're going to have two, two, three, three. And let's take that a little bit separately. Let's start for, I'll do measure 29 and 30 for you. Good. Then we're going to on our staccatos here. You got two, three on the D sharp, E, F sharp. Left hand stays right there on the A. And then I've got G in that whole note with a tide. Now I have one and three here. And then we're going to go together. All right. Enjoy. Good luck. And we'll talk.